Manipulating images in the right way can really enhance the professionalism of your presentation. Here's a fairly typical example of a slide that has a list of locations and a few different office images scattered around the slide. It really doesn't look that great. But with some simple and effective image cropping, and then using grayscale to desaturate the images, you're able to balance the slide much more. And by using content holders for the text to sit in, it's much easier to see what's going on. Overall, it's a much more considered slide. Another example here. On this slide, we're trying to show different types of device. But the issue is that the image on the right is more focused on the user than the device itself. You can use the crop tool to correct this by zooming in on the laptop. As the size is perfect and everything is nicely lined up here, select the image, go to the Format tab on the ribbon, and then Crop on the right-hand side. Now, use the white grab handles, not the black ones, to make the image larger so that you can see only the laptop within the crop area. That allows you to keep the image size but zoom into the area that you want. You can take things further with a set of images like this too. If you select an image, go to the Format tab on the ribbon, and then Color on the left-hand side, here you can apply a color wash to each image, which is based on your color theme. So you could, for example, color code each image so that you use it as an anchor point throughout your presentation, with tablets always being red, phones always being blue, and laptops always being yellow. Another option is to use this as a segue or highlighting slide so that you can have one instance of it and then transition to the next slide where one image is highlighted and the other two are grayscale. That kind of thing can really help add a lot of meaning to your presentation, all using simple images and standard tools. Here's a slide with a nice image, but it doesn't add much. The content really comes from the icons on the right, but there's not much else going on. To make the slide stand out, you can use a full bleed image to fill the background of the slide and make it look much better. To do that, select the image and on the Format tab choose Crop on the right hand side. Then use the black grab handles and drag them to the edges of the slide on the left and up, perhaps to sit in line with the white box that the icons are on. Do the same in the bottom right to sit just above the logo. Okay what's that achieved? You've now got a small image but with a large area around it. What this overcrop technique allows you to do is set an area that the image can sit in and not have it go beyond. So this area represents where you want the image to be. Now use the white grab handles to increase the size of the image and you'll see that as you take them outside of the cropping area the image turns dark and won't be seen on the slide. You're essentially using the overcrop as a bounding box for the image, so that you know it will fit perfectly in the space that you've chosen. You can reposition the image within that space too if you need to, and then once you deselect it, you have a great looking slide, with the content set against a full bleed background image that doesn't interfere with your title or logo content at the top and bottom.